Well, we beat the Giants in week one last week, and then we saw how the rest of the season went, so I'm not going to get too fired of myself here. How's it going, guys, and welcome back to Oklahoma City Bison's franchise. We have got the 0-1 Miami Dolphins at Hard Rock Stadium this week. They're a pretty good team. Overall-wise, their stats weren't great last week, though. They only managed to score 10 points and gave up 38, so that's definitely not good from their point of view. Jalen Smith won the NFC Defensive Player of the Week award last week. He had nine tackles, an interception, and a pick six. Well, I guess that pick six was the interception. We also have a player coming out of contract this year in Xavier McKinney. This is a pretty easy one. I'm not going to wait till the end of the year. We're going to sign him up long term now. And he's back, so that's good. We've got him wrapped up long term. Other guys coming out of contract this year is Michael Pierce, Sterling Shepard, Clem Farrell, obviously, because he's on that franchise tag, Haven Young, Devon Godshaw, some of the guys we signed to one year deals. But no real major young pieces of this team. Also, got to do our regional focus scouting. So for the West, we're going to do wide receiver. Receiver. For the central, we're going to do defensive end. In the northeast, we'll do outside linebacker. And then southeast, we will do guard. We've got to make sure we keep an eye on how the Baltimore Ravens are doing because we have their first round pick this year. They won their first game. They won and playing the L1 Pittsburgh Steelers this week. Against the Dolphins, I shouldn't really have to worry about the pass too much. We're definitely going to worry about the run. And then for our offensive game plan, it looks like they had no sacks last week, so I'm going to do run inside. We have no practice injuries on defense. And then on the offensive side of the football, we also have no practice injuries. With that all out of the way, jump to this game against the Miami Dolphins. We're going to be starting out on defense this week. So it means we get the ball to start the second half. After looking at some of the contracts, we obviously have some uh, some decisions to make on some guys like Michael Pierce. I think Sterling Shepard we will end up trading at around about the trade deadline. It's going to be a tight end, like, end around. That was weird. Pickup of eight there for Mike Kosicki. Oh. That's a great run from Chase Edmonds. Two is on the center. There's two wide receivers to his left, one to his right. It's going to be another running play with Chase Edmonds. Great play by Jalen Smith. It'll be a pickup of one. Like, I want to be good this year. I, I want to try and make playoffs. At the same time, I want one of those quarterbacks. And it does, Jesus, Taven Young, or uh, Kenny Young just got clotheslined. And it's going to be a massive pickup of 10 for Chase Edmonds. Sorry, 20, not 10. I honestly don't know where how many yards that was. It was somewhere between 10 and 20. It's going to be another run. It should have been a Tackle for loss by Mac Wilson. Instead, it's a four-yard pickup for Miles Gaskin. But yeah, I'm obviously wanting like one of these really good young quarterbacks in this upcoming draft class, or potentially really good quarterbacks. And I don't think the Ravens are going to be terrible enough to have like a high draft pick. So a nice pickup from Tua there, and he picks up the first down. So then it kind of leaves me to believe we're going to have to trade up to get one of these quarterbacks because I would like, to, obviously, to try and make the playoffs. So I'm not going to try and tank it. It's going to be out to the sideline, pick up a four yards, good catch there. Two is going to take off. He's got room in front of him as well. He's going to pick up the first down, I believe, after a pickup of seven. Is Cam Winningham rushing? I don't know why they ever bring him in and he drops into coverage. Like, he's a pass rusher. It doesn't make sense. That's going to be a quick pass to Mike Gasicki. And he gets down to the five-yard line. From the five second inches, Tua drops back to pass. And it's going to be an easy touchdown for the Miami Dolphins. And they get on the board first. Do I believe that's their fullback? I want to get Trey Sermon more involved. So we're going to give this off to him to start this drive. It's a decent run. Pick up a four. I mean, he had 102 yards rushing last week on 20 carries. So it's not like we didn't give him the ball. Gonna give it to him again here on second. Oh my God, that was a great block shed. Still manages to pick up four yards though. So it's gonna be third and two. Gonna go back to one more time here. See if we can pick up these two yards. And he can. And if he pick up a five yards and a first down. Hill on this crossing route maybe. Could get wide open honestly with his speed. And he is. What a throw from Jimmy G too. Great catch by Tyria Kill down the sideline. Going to run a jet sweep here with Alex Freeman. Bring him into motion. Going to give it to him now. He's got room on the outside. He's got some blockers. Tries to spin back inside. Can't. We pick up six yards. It'll be second down and four. Going to give this one to Sermon straight up the guts. He's got room up the middle. And he's going to be short of the end zone by a yard. It'll be first and goal. Going to draw back to pass here. First and goal, roll right, nothing really opening up. B's kind of there, Tyree Kill, and he's in the end zone for a touchdown. I believe he's third on the season already. And we're going to tie this ball game up. First and 10 from the 25, Tua drops back to pass. We've got Gasicki if he goes there, which he won. He's going to go out to the corner where he has his man. I, I don't know who that is. I'm blanking. Oh, Will Fuller. Okay, so he re-signed there. It'll be a three-yard pickup, second and seven. End of the first quarter, we're tied at seven to seven. Third down and seven from the 28. Two will drop back to pass yet again. Has his man, Jalen Waddle, and he has a first down and a pickup of seven. Thought he might run here on first down, and it will be. 
And great play, Jalen Smith gets in the backfield to be a pick of nothing. I did not think when I picked Jalen Smith that he would be our second best player on, or probably our best player on defense. Great rush from LJ Collier, and that'll be a sack and a loss of four. It'll bring up third and 14. But yeah, it'd be a toss-up between like Xavier Howard and Jalen Smith on like who's been our best defensive player. I'd probably lean Jalen Smith. Oh, that's going to be a sack again, Clellan Farrell. It'll be fourth and 18. And the Dolphins will have to punt. You could say Xavier Howard's been our best defensive player or Michael Pierce because he had a lot of sacks last year. I just feel like Jalen Smith's had such a big impact at that linebacker position. Going to give it to Trey Sermon. And it's actually a pretty decent run. He picks up three. It's not amazing. Going to go five wide on second down and six. Roll right. Nothing really opening up. Just going to give this one to Tyreek Hill. And he picks up the first down and seven yards. Going to give this one to Sermon. Oh my God, he completely... Blew up that play, Jonathan Allen. Be a loss of two. I'm going to draw back to pass, second and 12. Oh, rolling right. Tyreek is there, but I'm just going to take off with Jimmy G here. Pick up for six yards. And it'll bring up third and six. Third and six now. I'm going to draw back to pass again. Roll right. A is there. Float it up for Njoku. It's not a great throw. It'll be fourth down and six. And we will have to punt now. Back on defense now. Two is going to draw back to pass. He's going to take off, and it's going to be a sack. Second on the day for LJ Collier, and it'll be a loss of two. Man, LJ Collier and Colin Farrell have just been wreaking havoc in the backfield in this first half. Going to go out to his wide receiver in Jalen Waddle, and he has a first down, two missed tackles. Be up to the 38, and it'll be first down. It's going to be a running play here with, I believe, Miles Gaskin. He's got room to run as well at the middle. Picks up a first down after a pickup of 16, I want to say. Maybe 14. First and 10 from right about midfield. Tua will hand it off yet again. Great play, Jalen Smith. It'll be a pick of three. Second and seven from the 44 now. Two-minute warning has just passed. We've got over the middle. He's going to scramble out of the pocket, take off up the middle, and slide down around about the 26. We have first down for the Dolphins. He's going to drop back to pass. We've got Kosicki. He's going to be sacked. It'll be a loss of six. LJ Collier's third on the day. It'll be second and 15. Minute remaining here in the first half. Second and 15. We've got across the middle. He's going to go out to the sideline where he has Will Fuller and a pickup of... It feels like nothing, I want to say. It'll be third down and 12. Five wide here on third down. Two is going to drop back. We've got over the middle. We've got over the middle. Now he's going to take off, I believe. Yep. And slide down at the 22. We'll use a timeout. It'll be fourth down. And they'll take their field goal, I assume. And the kick is up and good for the Dolphins. It is a 10-7 ball game. Getting a little bit of play action with 40 seconds remaining here in the first half. I got a scramble because I wasn't going to get sacked. And then the big-ass fucker wouldn't move out of the way. And so that's going to be a sack. Either way, for Emmanuel Ogba, we'll have to use our second timeout. Second and 18. Might find Freeman on that corner out. We won't. We'll go underneath to the tight end, David Njoku. Be a drop. Be third down and 18. They're pressing Tyreek on the outside. I really feel like he can burn here. Is he gone? He might. That's a terrible throw. That'll be picked. Oh, it probably should have been picked. It'll be fourth down. We're going to have to punt. I assume Tua's just going to throw the ball. I don't think he'll run it. I'd be correct. Unless he takes off and scrambles, which he will. Great play there by Kenny Young. Second and eight. 15 seconds remaining from the 45. Tua's going to go five wide. Is he going to snap the ball? Yep, there we go. He's going to go over the middle. where have you, He has, I believe, Chase Edmonds. And he might have gotten that first down. No, it's going to be third down and one. And they're going to look, look clock run, I guess. And that's going to take us to halftime. We trail 7 to 10. Let's start this drive off with a screenplay to Sermon. Oh, that's not going to work. So he's going to throw this away. Actually, it was almost picked. I tried to do some stupid shit where I was going to, like, throw it across the field to RB. And um, it was... Almost very bad. Going to give this one to Sermon here on second down. And Jonathan Allen blows it up because he is just bullying his matchup. Well, it's now third down and 12. I feel like he's going to bully his opponent yet again. He's not. We're going to throw this one out to B. Sterling Shepard makes the catch. What on Shep. B up to the 48 and a first down. Sermon on the ground. We've got to try and get him going a little bit more here. He's got a pretty good run. Pick up a four. Tyree could get open on this post route, I feel. Oh, that's going to end badly. Yep, that's going to be a sack for Emmanuel Ogba, his second on the day. It'll be third down and 17. Well, third down and 17. Got to try and make something happen here. Going to throw this one up to Tyreek Hill. 
He's got to go make a catch, and he almost can, but it is dropped. It'll be fourth down and 17. They're going to be forced to punt. Let's bring a little bit of pressure on first down from the seven. I feel like Tua could run it, and he will. He's going to get pretty decent yardage as well there. Get it up to the 10 for Chase Edmonds. It'll be a pickup of three. Second down and seven now. Tua drops back to pass. We've got Waddle. That's going to be, or oh, should have been a sack, and it's going to be a completion for Will Fuller, and a massive gain up to the 34-yard line. How the hell? Hell did that happen? First and 10 from the 34 now. Two is going to drop back to pass yet again. We got over the middle. We don't have that guy over the middle though. And he's got a massive gain past midfield down to the 43 yard line. First down from the 43. Two is going to hand this one off to Chase Edmonds. And he's got a first down yet again after a pickup of 10. It might actually be second in inches it is. Ravens lost a eh? 24 to 7 against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And they're now 1-1. One one. Helps our draft pick. It's going to be a good run here from Chase Edmonds. And he gets down to the 28. Need more of that, Baltimore. I need you losing more games. Although, if I want this quarterback, it doesn't seem like I'm going to have to wait for their pick because we have not played very well. So, is this a sign of things to come for the rest of the season? Hopefully not. Second down and seven now from the 25. He's got a bunch formation to his right here. He's going to drop back to pass. And it's going to be a quick pass to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he gets the first down. Dolphins are moving the ball really well right now. I feel like this is going to be a run play. And it will be. It'll be stretch. Dorian Lawrence is out there to make the tackle. Helped by Mac Wilson. It'll be a gain or a loss of one, sorry. Great play there from Dorian Lawrence. We've got over the middle. And he's going to scramble. He's got room and he's going to pick up the first down. Down to the six-yard line. It'll be first and goal. Well, we're going to find some way to try and hold to a field goal here, I feel. Two is going to drop back to pass. He's going to go to his running back. Great play there by... Kenny Young. It'll still be a pickup of three, though, and it'll be second and goal. Got to find some way to get a stop, man, and hold him to a field goal. It's going to be a run, and he's got room on the outside. It'll be a touchdown for Miles Gaskin, and the Dolphins extend their lead. It'll now be 17-7, to 10-point game. We must get points on this drive. We cannot punt on this set of downs. X is there. Throw this one in. Tyree Kill makes the catch. Picks up 15 on a first down. When I said set of downs, I meant this drive. I'm just being an idiot. That'll take us to the end of the third quarter, though. We trail 17 to 7. Second down and 10 now. I'm going to look maybe for Sermon out of the backfield. Mm, no, nope, not really there. Y is, though. We'll throw this one in. Good catch, Alex Freeman. And he gets down to the 43-yard line and picks up a first down. Let's try the screenplay again. It didn't work well last time, but maybe this time it'll work. Uh, probably not. Maybe if we can get blockers, which we can't. And it'll be a pickup of two. It'll bring up second down and eight. Second and an eight from the 41. Rolling right. Not a whole lot there. So it's going to float this one in and Joku drops it. Well, better hope that Sterling Chev can go open on this crossing route because otherwise we're going to be fucked. Uh, RB's there. Throw it in. Trey Sermon makes the catch. Down to the 13. Going to go play action. Roll out to the left. Um, there's not a whole lot opening up. Try and throw this one in for Tyree Kill. Fall and complete. It'll bring up third down and 10. Freeman could get open on that corner out maybe. Nope. Underneath. Nope. It'll be a sack. Loss of 10. Jalen Phillips in the backfield. Be fourth down and 19. Kick is up. And it is good. It's 10 to 17. We're now going to get a stop on this drive. Honestly, I would not be surprised if they just run the ball this entire drive. So I'm going to just sell out on the run for a lot of these plays. And it's going to be a good run from Chase Edmonds to start things off. We pick up a six. But it's going to be a run yet again. It's not. He's going to throw it. And it's going to be completed to Michael Gallup. It'll be a first down up to the 48. Okay, so they are willing to pass it. We know that now. So i got to make sure that we call plays that also cover the pass well enough. It's going to be a run on this play, though. And it's going to be a decent run as well from Chase Edmonds. Big up a four. He's going to draw back to pass to her. We've got underneath. He's going to go to his running back, Chase Edmonds, down to the 44. We be third down and two. We've got to get a stop and try and find a way to get off this football field. Five wide on third down and two. So we've got to make sure that we also watch out because he could scramble for the first down. It's going to be a quick pass to Will Fuller. Pick up a 10 on the first down. That was terrible. They're already in field goal range, basically. And it's going to be a run. And he's got room on the outside. Miles Gaskin, Landon Collins gets there to take him down. But not, a, not before a 20-yard pickup and a first down. That'll take us to the two-minute warning. 
We trail 17 to 10. We've just got to try and find some way to force a turnover, maybe to a fumble. Because I don't think they're going to throw the ball, so it's going to have to be a fumble. Give me a decent run from Chase Edmonds. We're going to call our first time out. Second down and five from the nine now. This will be a run. I'm like 100% certain of that, and it is. And is he going to get that first down? I believe he might have. He didn't. It's going to be third down and inches from the four. And they're going five wide on third and inches. I didn't call a timeout. That was a like, stupid mistake. He, I feel like he's going to go quick pass. Where's he going to go quick pass? Over the middle. We've got it. He's going to scramble. And he should be sacked. And he won't be. And it'll be a touchdown for the Dolphins. 24 to 10. This game is all but over now. Got to go deep and hope for the best now. Why is there... Good catch, Trey Sermon. We're, we're going to have to use a timeout. I, I'm, yeah, we have to use timeouts because we're going to need an onside kick anyway. So I might just load up and look for Tyreek Hill deep here, honestly. Uh, No, we'll go A. He's there. Good catch, Trey. Oh, Alex Freeman, sorry. Down to the 27. We'll use our second time or our final timeout, sorry. Got to hope Hill burns and just gets over the top. Which he doesn't. Rolling right. A is there. Flow to the back of the end zone. David and Joku. And it's out the back of the end zone. I don't know. Maybe in Joku on that corner route. It could get open. Big body. We're going to throw it up to the big body. And it, I think it got batted midair. And it's, oh, Freeman could have caught that and run in the end zone. That would have been nuts. Third down and 10 from the 27. I might look for Tyreek Hill here. We're going to look for Tyreek Hill. He's got to go and make a play. And he can't. It'll be fourth down. Well, this is the game. We got to get a touchdown on this play. A first down really doesn't help us. It'll burn too much time. Tyreek Hill has kind of got a little bit of space. We can get over the top. He makes the catch, but he can't get into the end zone. We're going to have to hurry this up. And going to have to go quickly. I don't know why I called a running play, but I did. And Sermon is into the end zone. We score the touchdown, but there is seven seconds left on the clock. Onside kick is up. We need a fumble, and we can't get it. That's the game. We're going to fall to the Dolphins, 24-17. Tua was also outstanding today. He was 15-16, 149 yards, a touchdown, 93% completion percentage, and also had 55 yards rushing and a touchdown. And then for us, Jimmy Garoppolo was 11-22, 219 yards and a touchdown, 9 carries, 23 yards and a touchdown for Trey Sermon. I definitely ran, went away from the run game. I probably shouldn't have done that. Receiving Tyreek Hill was 5 for 92 on a touchdown. 3 for 52 for Trey Sermon. 2 for 44 for Alex Freeman. 1 for 31 for Sterling Shepard. Sack given up by Gregory Anderson and 2 by Joseph Noteboom. And then defensively, 9 tackles for Kenny Young. 9 for Jalen Smith. 6 for Byron Murphy Jr. 6 for Dimitri Lamb and 5 for LJ Collier. Tackle for loss for Dorian Lawrence, Mac Wilson and Jalen Smith. And then 3 sacks for LJ Collier and 1 to Cleland Farrell, no interceptions, no forced fumbles. Definitely disappointed. There was definitely times in this game where we could have put ourselves in a position to win it. We just didn't capitalize on those opportunities. Next week, we have the Carolina Panthers at home. Then we play the Seahawks in Seattle. And then we have the New England Patriots at home. But anyways, that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll catch you all in the next one. Take it easy.